Nostalgia hit me square in the face this week, and honestly, it takes me back 22 years all the way to the Nintendo GameCube. I've got this dope new Nintendo Switch gamepad from the folks over at Nixie who are kind enough to send this out for review, and this is the Nixie Wizard. And not only does this look like the original GameCube controller, it also has loads of additional features such as remappable rear buttons, swappable joysticks, button turbos, and most interesting Hall Effect thumbsticks for zero stick drift. Today I'll be diving into my review of this gamepad, its features, and my thoughts. And if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. On this channel I cover gaming, tech, and a few things in between, so if you enjoy the video, be sure to like and subscribe, and if you don't, there's going to be no towel next time you finish showering. Okay, so for 70 bucks, what do you get here? Jumping right into unboxing, you have the Nixie Wizard itself, which actually looks amazing off the bat. You also have some round joystick gates, a Type A to C cable, and the instruction manual, which might actually be helpful for using some of the gamepad functions. Coming down to the design and aesthetic, this controller really does look amazing. It's it's easy to say they were making this to look like the Nintendo GameCube controller which was definitely a popular option in its prime. It does feel much bigger if I'm not mistaken by memory and it weighs in at about 147 grams. The controller is made of a hard plastic and can be held as a gamepad split into two Joy-Cons or mounted on your actual Switch itself. And compared to the original Joy-Cons, these are absolutely huge and honestly, for me, they're far more comfortable in hand. This behemoth does come out to about 12 inches long when mounted to my Switch and definitely takes some getting used to in handheld mode. Overall though, I really dig the GameCube look and it's definitely a throwback. But I want to talk about one of the key features, that being the thumbsticks. Since regular Joy-Cons are absolutely plagued by stick drift, it's a huge reason to get this gamepad. Since this controller has Hall Effect sticks you should never have any sort of stick drift even over a long period of time. They actually feel really good to use as well and the L3 and R3 buttons are super clicky. Back in the Super Smash Bros days the GameCube controller was a popular pick and that carries to this controller as well. It even has the fighting game thumbstick gates which are easy to swap out at any time on each joystick and this helps with your directional positioning. For the rest of the buttons they've done a great job as well. The ABXY are super comfortable to press albeit they are a little bit mushy but they're super quiet. The left and right buttons and triggers are super clicky as well which is actually perfect for fighting games or first person shooters like Overwatch. They're seriously really shallow and clicky which is perfect for reaction times and they're almost like mouse clicks. And for the ABXY they're also backlit too which is awesome especially if you're in a dark environment. There's also two additional sets of buttons which offer some unique features such as remappable rear buttons as well as the turbo buttons. While I don't personally have or play any fighting games on Switch, the turbo mapping is an absolute godsend especially for spamming text. Pokemon Legends Arceus especially is Dialogue City so it's nice to not have to spam through all the text. And it is games like this that also take advantage of the gyroscope for aiming and it works perfectly. I will say I used their previous gamepad which was badass in its own right. The only downside is that it had the weakest rumble and it wasn't that great. On here however it's noticeably improved and it's actually really good. And while playing games like Overwatch being able to ping objectives without moving your hands off the joysticks is also a great feature. And playing something like Legends Arceus I mapped my right button to dodge. And to set these both up it's actually pretty easy. For turbo simply hold the turbo button and the button you want to map and then you're done. And again overall I'm happy to see these added features especially to a Nintendo Switch gamepad it makes a good difference while gaming easily and when it comes to battery i haven't really had to test this thing i always swap between having them mounted to my switch and in gamepad mode so they always get some charging while connected to my switch but you can always charge these separately if you want to using the usb-c cable and according to the manual these are rated to last six and a half hours which is pretty good especially if you're on the go okay so what do i think overall honestly this is the nintendo switch gamepad i've been waiting for it covers just about everything i want for a switch gamepad it's big and comfortable to hold backlit buttons turbo and remappable buttons and Hall Effect joysticks. That and it actually has good rumble. Nixie did tell me all the pre-orders are shipping out February 20th so they'll be in players hands soon. If you do want an actually good Nintendo Switch gamepad that looks like a blast from the past you'll definitely want to check this one out. I will have this one linked down below in the video description and thanks again to Nixie for sending this my way and I appreciate you all sticking around till the end. Till next time.